to my youtube channel this is my first episode amplify with arti today we have a very special guest with us archana hi archana hello arti and thank you so much for inviting me over it's a pleasure thank you so much for coming and gracing my show so i will take this opportunity to finally introduce archana she's a life coach she's an image consultant she's a personal branding coach she's a behavioral coach the list is very long she has just participated in mrs india 2021 and she was a semi finalist so this is archana for us and thank you archana for coming to my show thank you so much pleasure being here so i would like to ask you from the college days did you already thought that you would be a coach and you would be opening your endeavor balance be your brand or how did this journey came up to start your own entrepreneurial journey All right it's a long journey but I'm going to cut it short okay I did my uh, graduation in economics so basically I did economic honors further ahead I went to do my MBA started working but I always felt you know there was a gap that was not getting filled so basically by the end of the day I was not very satisfied with what I was doing you know we all talk about calling but I think there was still a gap where I needed to find out my calling and that is when I realized you know each one of us have been given some unique gifts and that is when the whole enlightenment journey which we talk about started where i took a deep dive inside to find out as to what exactly what was my calling so that is when i realized that you know interacting with people helping them out reaching making them reach their desired potential was something that i really felt happy about and that is how the entire journey of coaching started where i thought that you know if that is what makes me happy then balance be your own brand be one of the brands to guide people reach measurable solutions and stay happy with it very well said very insightful and even i believe that happiness is something like uh, what do you think uh, what do you do and what you act if all are in a harmony that is the real happiness and that is what exactly. you mentioned that that's that's really really super so archana how did you even think of participating in mrs uh, india you are such a successful coach you are married you have a 13 year old daughter how did this idea came up that i should go now and participate in mrs india how did this idea i knew <laughs> i really knew this was coming so this entire journey i think most many people ask me this now first of all age is just a number i do have a 13 year old daughter but you know life is vast and i also believe walking the talk is something that i want to do i want to let younger adults know that there is no age limit for doing anything at all so going back to your question i feel you know i always believe if you want some change to happen you need to take chances so you know probably this was one of the chance for me to go ahead make a change in my life and believe me the entire journey was such a fantabulous journey i would say because you know some things you have never touched this was a very unknown spectrum for me and for going ahead with doing something like walking on the ramp was absolutely new so yes i just thought let's take a chance to make a bigger change in my life so yes i'm sure you had ample fun and the amount of pictures we have seen i can see the amount of fun you had in this journey and uh, absolutely true age is just a number and we cannot hold ourselves just thinking oh i am till the time we are alive each day is a learning that's so beautiful that's at least my aha moment from this conversation already that it's just a number so yes we have to move on so that's so Absolutely. beautiful would like you to tell us even more about how what all did you learn in this journey how was this journey uh, for you and what all were the your takeaways from participating this beauty pageant you know this particular journey as much as i was so unaware as to what is going to happen so there was a long 3 months training that we underwent which was online and believe me we were 64 of us and by the time we reached there it was 62 in number so you know the entire journey of going through different stages of learning despite of the fact that you feel you know it enough there's always a learning so i always believe you know till the time you're alive learning never ends so i really took it as a person who was sitting on the other side learning every small bit of what the pageant journey is all about 
from doing photo shoots to walking on the ramp to going to different designers to get your clothes ready to being there and you know i had jitters when we were supposed to be there in daman because i had not met anybody personally so i really thought as to what is going to happen there i really don't know but believe me those seven days were out of the world reason you were sharing room with somebody i think that was done way back when i was in college wow so yes that was one of the biggest biggest change of living with somebody and getting along and doing all the things that you wish to do so it was a spectacular journey i think I'm i made sure amazing friends i'm sure you of college days getting back and sharing room with people that is something we would have done long back in college life and hostel life true that yeah. absolutely so you know it was like from morning lineups to your attendance to your wearing those cards to being there all day getting only lunch breaks and other breaks and then you're just there so i think the entire journey was very very enlightening for me at the same time when i share journey with you and even younger children you know it is about going ahead with not knowing anything is the best thing at times you learn more because you accepting all of that so that was a yeah. very big learning for me i think that's even more easier sometimes unlearning becomes difficult so if you don't know anything it there is nothing for you and you're just going and learning and that's that's and i can see so much glow on your face even after that journey that yes you're back with I'm, that charge i'm super excited and uh, believe me it doesn't end here so there's lots more coming yes i can see lot of brand endorsements happening in you are doing lots of uh i could see certain brands that you are endorsing and people do check out if you want some discounts on some awesome brands please check out her page she is endorsing a lot of brands that is something which uh, has i think came up along with the journey so that is another excitement that is happening i never thought that i would be doing that so you know there are opportunities that come on your door and i think that goes for everybody pageant is not the only thing being a coach myself who trains people on different aspects what happens is whenever the opportunity comes i think that is the time when you can actually catch it and use it for yourself and for the good of people so all you people listening here you can go to my page and take some brand discounts as how arti says <laughs> sure they are going to have a lot of blast in buying in <laughs> indulging in those shopping uh they always uh, archana people tell me that uh, participating in these beauty pageants uh, you should have a lot of money and styling is always about a lot of money uh i would like you to share with our audience that in fact break certain myths about styling uh because i keep telling people styling is not about money but people think that buying expensive brand is equal to styling so please so throw some okay. light on this all right i'm going to start with this your style and your way that the way you dress that is what we call style is your visual business card so when people look at you they perceive you in a certain way by the way you dress yourself and that is your style and there is a very big difference between style and fashion when we talk about these two things what happens is fashion is what you see on the magazines fashion is what you see that you know models are wearing and you get you get to see that on a daily basis now when you go and see the pricing of those particular pieces definitely those are very very high but you know there is a style that we all carry and that is called your personal style so your personal style once you find that out it is a myth that you feel that style is very expensive style is not at all expensive once you know that this is my personal style this is what i wear which i which makes me look good which enhances my visual card that is when you realize that style is all about you it's not the brands you wear it's not going to the designers it is about you reflecting and how you carry that forward so make your visual card absolutely amazing because this is a myth that styling is uh, very very expensive or it takes a big amount of budget to go and style yourself being a stylist myself being an image consultant you know people come to me as to you know they fear coming at time because they feel you know stylists or image consultants are basically for celebrities or you know they need it i think it's a everyday process we get up and we open our wardrobe and we dress ourselves right exactly is the situation once you know that this is what i look good in you can play around with it so not necessarily that you need to go to designers i am a very very street shopper i do street shopping however i do pair it up with pieces so i think styling is all about you it starts with you and it ends with you 
so fashion and styling being two different aspects i think styling is not at all expensive or out of your budget so beautifully i'm glad you spoke about this i uh, there's another perspective so people just be confident and carry that smile that's the style that's so important and you might be wearing the best of the clothes but if you lack confidence then that's not a style statement at all that is very true. beautiful so to uh, the last question and the most important one what would be your amplification mantra for the viewers to share your amplification mantra and today i won't say guess what because i am going to give the answer for this all right my amplifier mantra is happiness is homemade now when i say that i believe that each one of us has the ability to upload and uplift ourselves and when i say that because you know specifically we look forward to our surroundings to our people around who can or who make us feel happy however i think that's again a myth let's break it and the truth is that you need to be your own happiness mascot who brings that sparkle in your own life because that is when you are going to be reflecting it to people around you so all you people start reflecting within because nobody else except for you can make happiness for yourself and that is why i also launched one of a program recently arti and that is called the 360 degree happiness program wow. and if you actually go see that program it is all about you so whether it is communication whether it is your personal styling whether it is your wardrobe solution the moment you're happy with yourself i think that is when you get amplified so my mantra is happiness is homemade definitely i love this and hey you people who all are listening you are important remember this and uh, to wind off this interview we are going to play a quick game with uh, archana and uh, that's the rapid fire round so i'm just grabbing my mobile to read the questions so archana no explanations required just one word answer whatever comes to your mind uh so just tell our viewers so that we know what archana really is so the first question Perfect. let's go ahead are you ready okay yes so the first question describe archana in one word happyologist okay if you could spend one day in someone else's shoes who could be that person our young adults <laughs> okay favorite book happier by ben seher favorite food south indian and thai food sorry i'm taking the leverage of saying two <laughs> that's completely fine when it when did archana last got angry very good question however i want to say that uh, i don't let anger sit on my shoulders because somehow i don't like my face in a angry mood so i'll just let it go <laughs> okay that's nice but when was it last time if you would like to mention today morning okay <laughs> <laughs> what is the last skill just recently you have acquired in the year 2021 to prioritize okay and who is your inspiration or role model me because every day i am on an endeavor to make myself better than yesterday that's superb so we end so i need to give you the hamper for us answering that so beautifully thank you so much arshana for coming and gracing my channel I am sure all my viewers are going to enjoy this conversation and really get amplified. So if you want more and more content, please do like, share and subscribe and let's amplify with Arti. A big thanks to you Archana. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure is all mine and thank you viewers. Please go subscribe to her channel and you'll see lots of it coming in the near future. So I would like to end on one quote dreams need people people need dreams vision needs somebody to make them real it seems go grab your dreams and live for it age is just a number people stay tuned and let's amplify with our